Marissa was telling me about this new Facebook group called Ooh. Are We Dating the Same Person? I don't know. And essentially what it is, is uh, I, I, it's girls, and then it's a private group, so you have to like do the typical Facebook group shit. You like join, and then you have to answer like a bunch of questions and shit. Mm-hmm. And then once you're in, I'm in. Once you're in, uh, there's just a bunch of posts from like girls that just started dating dudes, mm. like posting, I guess, their picture and then a description. And then I guess the premise of this group is to be like, are is we this dating guy <laughs> like a player? Like, yeah. is he dating a bunch of people? Are you guys also dating him? <laughs> you know, and apparently there's like one for like every city. And uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that uh, they they were looking at it as like this. Um, oh, it's fun and blah blah blah. And of course, like you you sign in when you're doing the fucking like questionnaire to get in. It's like you know, I promise not to say, use words like weird or ghosted or like all these things, basically trying to be like, you know, there's no like shitting on the person or anything in the group, but you yeah, know, right. you know, that's all they're doing. That's the entire purpose of this. But also group. it's like, that's because it's a group for people who got, got the only thing they can do is fucking talk shit behind yeah. closed doors. So it's a bunch of chicks lashing out about dudes that they dated and so you post a picture like, hey, and I'm to seeing- be fair, like it's all about, you know, the intent to the dude here. I'm not trying to shame any dudes who are up front with people being like, hey, like, you know, we're not committed yet or whatever the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. I've never been that kind of guy. But mm-hmm. but also like, you know, I think that group is kind of funny because then you get like one of those stories about like, you know, that one guy who was dating like 20 people in New York, like the whatever something Steve. Yeah. I forget the fucking the news story, but like, yeah, there's a guy who had like, oh, it was like a Chinese guy or something, or Asian guy, something, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I kind, I, it's always funny when something like that happens. I so mean, I can imagine that group would be funny. I'm of two minds on this because obviously you don't want to see those guys get away with it. At the same time, I'm a firm believer that if you've been dating a guy for longer than one month and you can't sniff out him having four other girlfriends. Maybe you need to fucking look in the mirror and figure out what the hell you're doing because that's like, I don't know. There's a certain type of person. I've always said this. I said this about STDs and I know this is not my most popular opinion, but I believe this, um, that like you can kind of, you can kind of tell if you ask a certain type of person, you're like, you know, you say if you tested and you can tell a type of person that's going to be like, yeah, I'm good. And and you're sitting there going like, but are you though? Mm-hmm. Like you can if you can't suss out a person to like that baseline level to be Is that a, the kind of guy you're asking? <laughs> if they're safe. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like maybe step back and re examine your own life decisions where you're talking to a guy and you're in a legitimate relationship and you don't even trust this person enough to not post in a public group or a private group and ask the entire city of Baltimore if anyone else is fucking him right now. It's like, (laughs) it sounds like you're not in a very good relationship from the jump because this didn't exist a year ago or two years ago. And like, how did people do it back then? It's like, you know, like date a person, have a good enough sense of people to know if that's a liar or a cheater or a a person who's going to do that. And it's like, if you're in a position after dating somebody for five months and you still don't know, maybe this isn't the relationship for you because that trust issue doesn't just stop the second you post in a Facebook group and nobody says anything because then you might still be sitting there going like, well, maybe the girls that he's fucking on the side aren't in this group, which is overwhelmingly likely. I mean, I'm I'm sure there's more girls in Baltimore that are not in that group than are in that group. So then you're sitting there, you still don't trust your significant other. And then I'm supposed to believe that once you post in there, oh, well, I posted your picture in this uh, Facebook group and nobody said anything. So I guess I completely trust you and I'm ready to get married. It's like, no, you have fucking trust issues in your relationship. And that's a problem you need to examine. Not fucking just take, because it's like, look, even if you're not cheating or anything like that it opens up the avenue all i'm going to say is if this if this if the exact equivalent of this was done in the reverse where it was a group of dudes on facebook that had a group and were posting pictures of chicks and basically just like 
every chick that was being posted, just a bunch of dudes being like, yeah, we used to fuck like three years ago, blah, 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 blah. It's like people would be outraged. Be mm-hmm. like, oh my God, you're fucking, you're fucking airing out all this girl's private business about like all of her other hookups. Like that's not your fucking business. Like why are, why are a bunch of dudes in here like talking about the time that they went out with her? It's like, just that's not your fucking business. But for whatever reason, when it's girls doing it about guys, I get it. Because I also have always been a firm believer we're not the fucking same. So, you know, it's like, I think, you know, most, even Marissa was like, obviously, yeah, if this was dudes doing that to girls, it would be a problem. So it's like, okay, at least we can be on the same page. Like, there's a major double standard here. All I'm trying to say is like, Liv was like, oh, I should post your thing as a joke. And I was like, look, I'm not fucking cheating on you. But also, (laughs) I don't fucking, I know. No, I don't want you to do that because it's like, I'm not even worried about any of that shit. I'm just saying like, I think this is wrong. I think this is fucking wrong. It's like, it's a bunch of fucking, it's like a bunch of chicks who are like going out on fucking Tinder dates and like meeting dudes. And like, they're like, Hey, before I fuck this guy on the first night, is anyone else fucking him? Right. It's like, why don't you fucking just fucking, I don't know, be more responsible, fucking figure out your shit more. So you don't have to fucking resort to like public making public every dude's fucking life just so you can make sure that you don't fuck the wrong one mm-hmm. you know it's kind of fucked up i think it's a little fucked up but also like i can see it being you know i can see it being a fun thing and i can also see it being abused um i don't really have that much of a take on it though i mean it's it just annoyed me even more because they all the questions in the from the jump are you know to join the group or they go out of their way to really make it like oh like no no disparaging no hateful blah 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 blah. and it's like this is just like you have to say that obviously everyone knows what this is and it's like i would almost appreciate it more if they were just honest and it was just like that make it a public group Yeah, make it a public group and then just like you're selling a couch on facebook you post a picture of your fucking boyfriend you know, Baltimore dating marketplace. <laughs> hey, anybody fucking this guy yeah. before I go on a second date with him? Antique roadshow for your boyfriend. <laughs> it's just like, look, I get it because it's hard out there for a chick. I get that. But I think there's this weird uh, there's this weird dissonance between like girls wholeheartedly supporting this because they understand that dating is different for women than it is for men, which it is which it is. Uh, And then at the same time, in another conversation, completely ignore that fact and try to make it seem like everything's equal. It's like, no, you can't have it both ways. Either you continue to do this like fucking gossip shit in a Facebook group about dudes that you're talking to and just say, hey, we're fucking chicks. It's different. Get over it. And then I'm totally cool with that. As long as in every other aspect of life outside of this one conversation, you keep that same energy. Keep that same energy then. Don't fucking come at me with a bunch of shit when we're talking about something else about how actually it's exactly the... No, it's not. It's not exactly the same. If it's exactly the same, then unjoin the fucking group and hold yourself to the same standard that if I came and told you that I'm in a fucking group where all we do is just post about chicks we met on Tinder and see how many dudes they fucked. Mm. Mm. No, that sucks. That being said... <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, it, I, I just like, I just know it's like, you can say all you want, but like, I'm sure, you know, any guy our age who's not been married for the past eight years is going to have a laundry list of previous relationships where not all of them are your biggest fans. They're not all going to be your biggest fans. I've tried to do a pretty decent job of making sure that every, you know, any romantic, intimate type of, uh, relationship I've had, like, I'm super cool with all my ex-girlfriends, like, really on good terms you know i think that's a good i think that's a good thing a lot of people think that's weird i'm not like fucking best friends with my ex exes but mm-hmm. like if you hate your ex that is partially on you it's just kind of like if you have i've always said if you have more than one shitty ex you're the shitty ex yeah because this is a person that you decided that you were going to like be in love with share all these moments with potentially get married and you dated them for like maybe a year, maybe a little less than that, but like a long-term type of thing, long enough to be considered like, this is a person that you're picking. This is a person of all the people in the world that you could have picked to be your significant other. You pick this person and yet somehow all the people you picked suck. Maybe you suck. 
Because mm. I'm totally chill with uh, all my fucking exes are great fucking people. They wouldn't be my ex otherwise. They would have never been my uh, girlfriend in the first place. So I don't know. I just think this is a little wacky tacky. Yeah. Like I said, not much of a uh, opinion on it. Mm. I think, uh, you know, it definitely seems like a fucking like mean girl sequel. Yeah. Um, but also at the same time, like, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. I don't care either. I, I, I don't, don't care because I know if my picture ever got posted, like no one would say anything. <laughs> yeah. Because also like I don't think I don't think like uh that's like a thing for probably like people in college now. I feel like that's not really a thing for people our age. It you'd be surprised. First of all, it's a Facebook group. Mm. So instantly right there you kind of get an idea of the type of age group we're dealing with. This is not 18 year old. I mean, I'm, I feel like well, it's like the high tops crowd. Yeah. It's 30 There's a lot 38 of, plus. There's a lot of dudes our age and older being posted and younger. <laughs> it's of all ages. It's of all ages. This is not like a little collegey like, you know, black book type of thing. This is like it's we're all we're all in it you know that's hilarious so i i I know i just went on a tirade to make it seem like i really care about this i i I care more about the principle than the actual thing like go ahead and post me you know it's like i'm not you know i don't i don't believe i have anything to hide and honestly treat me like a piece of meat for once yeah (laughs) (laughs) 